Good afternoon, I'm Jess De Los Santos. This is One News Now. Senator Cynthia Villar has apologized for saying that the country's middle class should not receive cash aid from the government. In a statement, the lawmaker clarified that her statements in yesterday's hearing were not meant to be an affront to the quote, hard-working middle class of the country. She said her intention was just to clarify reports about middle class workers who remain employed but were listed as SAP beneficiaries. Villar pointed out that the government intended the SAP funds to benefit the poor and unemployed, so legislators were just clarifying who the intended beneficiaries are. Villar insisted she is not insensitive to the plight of middle income earners. Here are other headlines we're watching this afternoon. Former Senator Jingoy Estrada has filed a letter of explanation regarding his alleged violation of quarantine protocols during a relief drive in San Juan City. Estrada insists physical distancing was observed during the activity. Paranaque City says it will impose a so-called calibrated lockdown in certain parts of the city. This includes Bagong Sikat, Bagong Lipunan, Bagong Pag-asa, Bagong Ilog, E. Rodriguez, Bagong Buhay, Bagong Silang, Dimasalang Extension, Mabuhay, and 12 de Junio. From May 21, 6 a.m. until the midnight of May 23, all home quarantine passes in the areas mentioned will be suspended. Only frontliners will be allowed to leave their homes. And the House of Representatives will start discussing the bill granting ABS-CBN a full 25-year franchise. Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano says the Legislative Franchise Committee is expected to finish hearing the matter before July. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.